The camera world is about to be shaken to its absolute core. For years, the Nikon Z9 has stood as the undisputed titan of the professional mirrorless market. It was the camera that proved Nikon wasn't just back in the game, it was leading it. But time waits for no one. Technology is moving at a breakneck pace, and the whispers from the shadows of Nikon's engineering labs have finally become a roar. Today, we aren't just talking about an incremental update. We are talking about a successor that aims to redefine what is physically possible with a handheld device. This is the deep dive into the Nikon Z9 II that you have been waiting for. Welcome to my channel Tech Launch. Subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon for the new tech updates. If you think your current flagship is fast, if you think your autofocus is good enough, or if you believe 8K video has reached its peak, prepare to have your perspective completely shattered. Because what I'm about to reveal regarding the Z9 II isn't just an improvement, it's a revolution. Stay with me, because by the end of this video, you will understand why the competition is currently scrambling for an answer. Let's start with the soul of the machine, the sensor. The original Z9 blew everyone away with its stacked CMOS technology and the complete removal of the mechanical shutter. It was a bold move that changed the industry forever. But for the Z9 II, Nikon is rumored to be pushing the boundaries of light and speed to a level we've only seen in high-end cinema or scientific imaging. We are looking at a potential 50 to 60 megapixel stack sensor, but with a massive twist. The readout speed is expected to be so fast that rolling shutter will not just be minimized, it will be theoretically impossible to detect in any real-world scenario. This isn't just about megapixels, it's about the quality of every single pixel. Imagine a dynamic range that rivals medium format, allowing you to pull details out of the deepest shadows and the brightest highlights of a high-contrast sunset without a hint of noise. This is the level of precision we are talking about. But what good is a sensor if the brain can't keep up? Enter the XP8 dual-processor architecture. This is where the magic happens. To handle the sheer volume of data coming off a sensor this fast, Nikon has reportedly engineered a processing engine that is three times faster than what's inside the current Z9. This allows for things that sound like science fiction. We are talking about blackout-free shooting at even higher frame rates, but with full AI tracking enabled for every single frame. Imagine shooting 40 or 60 frames per second in full RAW, not just JPEG. For sports and wildlife photographers, this is the difference between capturing the decisive moment and missing it by a millisecond. In the professional world, that millisecond is everything. Now, let's talk about the feature that will make every action photographer's jaw drop, the AI Autofocus 3.0. The Z9 was already a beast at tracking, but the Z9 II is moving into the realm of predictive intuition. Utilizing deep learning algorithms that have been trained on millions of images, the Z9 II won't just follow a subject, it will anticipate its next move. Whether it's a Formula One car coming around a blind corner, a bird diving into water at 60 miles per hour, or a gymnast performing a complex mid-air flip, the Z9 II is designed to stay locked on with a tenacity that feels almost supernatural. It's rumored to include new specialized tracking modes for even more niche subjects, think insects, specific sports like tennis or golf where the ball movement is erratic, and even improved eye tracking for animals in low light conditions that would leave other cameras hunting for focus. Speaking of low light, this is where the Z9 II is expected to truly pull away from the pack. There are leaks suggesting a dual-native ISO system refined specifically for the Z-mount, providing incredibly clean images at ISO 12800 and beyond. For wedding photographers in dark cathedrals or photojournalists in the field at night, this camera will literally see in the dark better than the human eye. And with the redesigned IBIS, in-body image stabilization, offering up to 8.5 or 9 stops of compensation, you could potentially shoot 1-second handheld exposures that are tack sharp. Let that sink in for a moment. No tripod, no gimbal, just you and the camera, capturing the impossible. But the Z9 II isn't just a stills powerhouse. It is a cinema monster in disguise. The Z9 was already a favorite for filmmakers, but the Z9 II is reportedly doubling down. We are talking about 8K video at up to 120 frames per second. Internal NRAW, ProRes RAW, and 10-bit recording options that give you total control in the edit suite. But the real game-changer? Global shutter-like performance. While it might still be a rolling shutter sensor, the readout is so fast that even the most frantic pan shots will show zero distortion. This makes it a legitimate B-cam, or even an A-cam, 
for high-end Hollywood productions. And with improved thermal management, you can record these massive files until your cards are full, without ever seeing an overheating warning. Think about the ergonomics. The Z9 is a large camera, but it's built for the hands of a professional. The Z9 II is expected to refine this even further. A more contoured grip, buttons that have been slightly repositioned based on years of feedback from Nikon ambassadors, and a viewfinder that is so bright and so high resolution that you'll forget you're looking at a screen. We are expecting a 9 million dot EVF with a 240 hertz refresh rate. It will be the most fluid, most realistic viewing experience in the history of mirrorless cameras. As we go deeper into this analysis, we have to address the why. Why do you need this camera? If you are a hobbyist, maybe you don't. But if your livelihood depends on capturing the shot that no one else can, the Z9 II is your ultimate weapon. It's the peace of mind that comes from knowing your gear will never be the bottleneck. It's the confidence to walk into any environment, a sandstorm in the Sahara, a rainy sideline at the Super Bowl, or a dark studio, and know that the Z9 II will perform. Wait, there's more. Let's talk about connectivity. In the modern era, the speed at which you can get your images from the camera to the editor or the social feed is just as important as the image itself. The Z9 II is rumored to feature 5G integrated connectivity and Wi-Fi 7 support. This means you can stream 4K video directly from the camera or upload high-res RAW files to a secure cloud server in real-time as you shoot. For news agencies and sports photographers, this is a massive competitive advantage. You can be the first to publish every single time. The competition, Sony and Canon, are not sitting still. The A12 and the R1 are formidable opponents. But Nikon has a secret sauce in their Z-mount. The sheer size of the mount allows for optical designs that the others simply cannot match. When you pair the Z9 II with S-line lenses like the 58mm f-0.95 knocked or the 400mm f-2.8 with a built-in teleconverter, you are entering a league of image quality that is frankly untouchable. The Z9 II is designed to squeeze every last drop of performance out of that glass. Let's talk about the price. Power like this is an investment. We expect the Z9 II to launch in the range of $5,500 to $6,000. For a tool that can do everything from 8K cinema to world-class sports photography, that is actually a bargain. Level we've only seen in high-end cinema or scientific imaging. We are looking at a potential 50 to 60 megapixel stack sensor, but with a massive twist. The readout speed is expected to be so fast that rolling shutter will not just be minimized, it will be theoretically impossible to detect in any real-world scenario. This isn't just about megapixels, it's about the quality of every single pixel. Imagine a dynamic range that rivals medium format, allowing you to pull details out of the deepest shadows and the brightest highlights of a high-contrast sunset without a hint of noise. This is the level of precision we are talking about. But what good is a sensor if the brain can't keep up? Enter the 